ear. What's up, y'all? Ear. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of 570 Live. Oh, there snap, I'm not on camera. My bad. I got B in the corner, so I got to sit a certain way. <laughs> Yeah. Damn. Oh, I got another little up. stand, bro. I could put my phone like that. Now nah, you're good, bro. Just I know. No, but now I'm tripping because I want to know where it is. Oh. <laughs> Let me go on to our thing. Here we are. No, no, but now I'm tripping because I want to. There we hmm. go. All right, let's see if people are coming in. We only got one person watching. It's probably me. Right. Uh, no, nah, I think that's me because I'm on it. What? I'm on it because I always put it on my TV in the background. Yeah, me, while I put it on my phone. Can I tag people? Like, yeah, you can comment people's names. I don't know. So you can see to mine. It's like a, it's like, like a press, live. No, you press at, and you press at this person, at that person. Oh, at, facts. You know what I mean, so facts. I should have been doing this a long time ago, but all the people I missed. But, <laughs> All the people that came up, right? Yeah. <laughs> are people that are already tagged. It's funny. Oh yeah, I already tagged a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. Because it's the people that normally do it. Yeah. But, no, we're good. We're up to like five. Oh, we're we're we're. What up, everybody? Another up, wonderful day in the five seven zero. Oh. The five seven. Oh. With this uh, bipolar weather, I where know, it bro. wants to rain, sleet. Snow in one what day, up, and then it's just nice and shiny the next day. Mother Nature yeah. just cannot make up her mind around here. Yeah, never, bro. Even Mother Nature knows Scranton is like ugly. <laughs> I was just saying, <laughs> she just treat us like dog crap. I just like, made a post where I was like, bro, <laughs> this area's got such a negative spin on it, bro. Like, it's horrible. Like, it's so, it's such a bad energy that it's hard to shake off. What up, Ryan? Yeah. What up, Ma? What up, Cuzzo? What up, other Cuzzo? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I swear I'd be saying that like six times because all, like, all our cousins be watching. <laughs> I'd be like, what up, Cuzzo? What up, Cuzzo? <laughs> That's what's up. Share. Share. Oh, share. Share, yeah, share, 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 so. share. Hey, share it. The more we share it, the more we get it out there. Hi. <laughs> yeah, you already know. It's episode eight. You dig? You know, call eight in? Check them out. That's good stuff. Yeah, I can't believe we're already eight episodes in. What up, Rocky? So, right. Hey, Amy. The other cuzzo. Oh. What's going on with everyone today? It's uh oh, Wednesday, April twentieth. Oh, it's four twenty. It's uh. Damn, yes, I bro. Weed. I don't even smoke right. weed anymore, but I isn't it isn't sure it crazy, bro? Even I, I, <laughs> it me everybody out. on the book is like, "Yo, happy 420, rolling up." That I'm like, bro, I didn't even didn't even cross my mind. I know, right? It's because we don't we don't we don't do drugs anymore. Not yeah, we don't we don't do dope. Ew. We don't roll we, we don't roll the, the dope. dope. Ew. Like you do <laughs> nah. weed? Like it, oh my god. <laughs> No, nah, if I guess if I mean there's I'm not gonna say there's uh bad reasons I can't smoke, but positive reasons why I shouldn't smoke. Not only health wise and I don't know, nah, man, I just really we, people like us need to smoke because we're too skinny if we don't normally. <laughs> Bro, I'll tell you what, you ever since my, my 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 Ever since my health started getting better, bro, I've been eating like crazy. It. My bad, I'm looking all off in the distance. My freaking light, my little stand, which was a diaper box, fell. <laughs> I have like <laughs> sitting on a diaper box, a big ass diaper box. It's gonna have to go here, so my lighting's gonna be a little weird. But that's all right. It's light enough. But what's up with everybody? How y'all doing? What up, Guillermo? Yeah. What up, Cuzzo? Yeah, what's too, up, what's going on with everyone? Yeah, what what's on doing? people's minds, bro? I could talk, you could talk, we could talk. What's up? Let's shout out to Kobe. Oh, bro. Since it's episode eight. You know what? 
I I I I dead ass shed a tear, bro. When, bro, I, I, when like, I found out it was real, like three days, and my friends all called me like, you know, Kobe died, bro. No, like, uh, wave. <laughs> you're the biggest you're Kobe big fan belt. I know. So if you didn't know, that'd be like. I'd have to go make sure the sky wasn't Yeah, falling. nah, people were calling me like, yo, Vic, like, are you okay? Like, I know you <laughs> loved Kobe. Like, yeah, bro, I'm okay. I, w I was definitely sad. But, like... Facts. Damn, man. Yeah. I, I know. Go it, back to the corner. I didn't want to believe it. For the longest time, it, it kind of took me a while to accept it and actually yeah, I know, like right? let it sink in cuz I'm like nah bro I'm like what up, nah Mario? He did a he did a Tupac and he faked his death cuz <sighs> unfortunately uh, I, they killed the Mamba they killed him and his daughter bro and the and like his daughter people bro that's Come the worst on. bro bro killed yeah, his daughter too what up Ben oh, yeah. here don't let the uh don't let the mambo overshadow all the people that died because a bro, lot of people lost their lives unnecessarily. I just want to know bro. how people are like. I know LeBron is so good, but how is LeBron over Kobe right now? Like when it's all said and done, if LeBron gets another and he's at he matches Kobe, at what five? Yeah. How is he better than Kobe right now? Like statistic wise, the league is in LeBron's favor. Like, I just don't get it. How could you put? LeBron over Kobe, man. I don't get Yo, it. What today's up, league number one is super pampered. I don't care what anybody oh, yeah. says. They could argue. They could cry. <laughs> I'm a Laker fan. I, I, I don't want LeBron to win. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, I want them to win. But what up, Frick? You, you're, you're... could break records, but if you're losing, then you lose the I mean, argument, we bro. this year, but that wasn't his fault. He just can't carry a team anymore because the league's changing. Bro. All these jits are coming in, whooping our ass, bro. Whooping, the, like, bro, LeBron was like, I'm going to get a bunch of 38-year-olds, and we're going to freaking control. Like, nah, it would have yeah. been smart if every vet they got, they got a well, Hold up guy. a second. What is a jit? It's a, it's someone under 18 or just someone young. Like, compared oh, okay. to LeBron, they're jits. You, you had to hear me oh. say jits a million times. What up, Bert? Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I can't like, yeah, what is that? Ever since I was a jit. I can't believe I heard, uh, first time I heard JIT was, like, on the streets in Florida. And then, yeah. like, I, when I went to jail in Florida, like, that's when I heard, heard, like, they were like, nah, bro. Like, I asked him, I'm like, bro, what does that mean? And he's like, it just means, like, you're under 18. He said, but in jail, it means you're, like, under 21, and you're, like, you still have a childish kind of mind. He's like, you know, so if someone calls you, it, sometimes if someone calls you, it, it could be disrespectful, and you might have to throw hands. You know what I mean? He's like, yeah. think of it as like Young Bull. Like how you Philly cats say Young Bull. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was going to say, it kind of sounds <laughs> kind of sounds disrespectful a little bit. That's why I was asking. Nah, anyone could be a jit. But, I mean, if you go up to someone and you're like, oh, this jit-ass nigga. You know what I mean? Like, that's a fight. those are fighting words. Like, you might slap, run that fade real quick. So, yeah, like, it's like nigga. You know what I mean? It could be used in 900 different ways. Like, oh, it's... Man, that's my jit right there. Hey, like your little homie. You know what I mean? Facts. So, yeah, it could be used for a lot a lot of different ways. We got 10 people, though, right now watching. What up with y'all? Ear, ear. Yes, sir. I just got, uh, bro, I thought this series was already over. The Lakers series, the Showtime one. It's not. It's only on oh, episode. Oh, that's just still going? Yeah, it's on episode eight. There's going to be 10 episodes. But uh, bro, it's crazy. Uh, did you uh, what's his name suing him? Bird actually sent me it. Um, the logo, Jerry West. Because in the show, bro, if you watch the show, they have Jerry West acting the donkey, like he's mad disrespectful. <laughs> he's like always cussing, and he's suing them because he's like, bro, like I'm not like that. But HBO is like, of course it's a drama, a drama. I can't say it right now. A dramatization. I can't say it. I, I butchered it, but you know what I mean. It's a drama. It's dramatized. It's Hollywood, bro. It's gonna be dramatized. It's not gonna be completely real. But Spencer Haywood was really smoking crack. <laughs> he really was. That's a fact. You know what Spencer Haywood was? Yeah. He's the reason why kids were allowed to jump from college. He's the reason why. And because he jumped from college, NBA teams treated him like dog dirt because the the, the owners hated him for it. Yeah. Like what? Because I want to go make my family money and don't want to go into your little college system and be your little slave. 
Like, nah, bro, if you really think about it, like, it really is like that. Like, these kids make, now they just got, are able to now make money off their likeness, but they just got that. Like, who yeah. said it? Fuck the NCAA, hey, let a young nigga get paid, hey. Yeah, they just did that, bro. Like, that should have been a thing. Like, these kids were making colleges million, maybe even billions in some cases, like Alabama or, like, those middle, those those big schools, Penn State. I mean, they are raping people, but. You know what I mean? <laughs> Joe Paterno wasn't raping him, but apparently he knew. God rest his soul. Yeah. But um, Notre Dame, bro, all these school programs are making hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, and these kids are just playing for free. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's boosters. You know what a booster is, right? Mm -mm. Reggie Bush was a boost. Like the, he had a boost. Like it means when a like uh, 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 it could be the school's coach, it could be the school's recruiter, it could be the school's uh, a super fan of them. They pay you to go to the school. Right. Reggie Bush was paid to escalate oh, like a big yeah. screen TV, That's like right. twenty yeah, racks. Word. So they took his Heisman Trophy away oh, and gave it bro. to Vince Young. And you Vince Young was like, I don't deserve people. this. This is Reggie Bush's, bro. Like, what does that have to do with what he did on the field? You know what I'm saying? And yeah, facts. I think did they win the I think they won the national championship that year against Texas. <laughs> you see USC did. They got bro, they are still suffering from that because of well, no, they're finally just getting better again, but they suffered bad from that, bro. They got taken away recruits, all that, bro, because of that. Now don't get me wrong, yeah, it's cheating. It is cheating. You're paying somebody, but now it's legal. It's like people how you, like it's like the people that got arrested for weed back in the day. And now it's decriminalized. Yeah. Like that how does that work? You know what I'm saying? Hey, Jeff, I thought that they were supposed up, to take away Swatty. like if if it was like a misdemeanor charge, you're supposed to take it off your record. Well, apparently, well, I know Trump was trying to do that. Apparently, yeah, he was, yeah. Like that's that's going to be a thing, but you know the Democrats are going to they're trying to lock everybody up, bro. Yeah, bro. Come that's on, bro. that's how they get their Open money. Your eyes, bro. Because they know people don't like them, people, bro. I don't care, bro. If they win this election, bro, it's rigged. I mean, it's I two more years, bro. We still got a minute before. No, we're... there's a there. The, oh, you're the talking about the are uh, coming up in November, bro, for the yeah. for the house seats. Yeah, bro. You're talking about the house representative, right? Rating is so low right now that if they were to, how much you want to bet that right before November? All of a sudden, either coronavirus comes back or it's going to be something, bro. Illegal immigration is about to go crazy. Crazy. Oh, man. And you know I who hates know. it the most? The Hispanic Americans that already live here, bro. You saying they're going to suffer the most from it? Of course. How are they? Up. The people, the, the, the ones who come in legally, make businesses, buy property, like... Bro, the the approval Bro, rating for like Democrats Indians is the lowest it's Mad ever Long. been with Indians Hispanics. Just give their their family the business. Like they'll run the convenient for four years, and then once their green card visa working visas up, they just give it to oh, their yeah. nephew, and then yeah. their nephew runs it in the middle. Nah, bro, the same place. you these guys are coming in, and the working class of America is minorities. You know what I mean, like. Yeah. For the most part, and that's Hispanic Americans, bro. So when your approval rating with with Hispanic Americans is lower than it's ever ever been, that's when you know you're you're done, bro. You know what I mean? Because that's who are you who, talking about. You're saying uh, Biden's Spanish, yes, bro, yes, bro. Because that, much. bro, that's who. Because minorities are who vote. Democrats in. Oh yeah, of course. But the approval bro. rating, if, the approval rating amongst minorities for Joe Biden is is ridiculously up, low. It's not even funny. Flex. It's not yeah, even bro. funny. So I you mean, know if it's if it's low with those guys, like they, they, they feel try some to make kind of way. People, like, and it's not just black people; it's all minorities. But they try to make bro. us feel like voting don't count, but it really kind of does. But it kind of don't. Yo, like. It, they can manipulate it anyway, because I'm pretty sure this election was way closer than what they said it was. Can like they're like, no, so? Biden won by a lot. Like there's they no act, way. There's no they way. They act, bro. They act like black people don't know how to vote. They almost treat 
treat them like I mean, handicaps, a lot of people bro. Didn't, though you gotta think of that. Like they ran the campaign, and that you know it's messed up. That's yeah, well, then how did like they about, win then? about LeBron? LeBron nah. did that whole, but he ran like uh, did all that promoting and and what's that called when you like do it for like um campaigning a, a, a candidate campaigning uh, yeah campaigning <laughs> yeah LeBron yeah. campaigned for Biden hard body bro and like. I don't even think LeBron's, like, really a Democrat. I think he's really a Republican who, like, I think he really... Bro. Like, he has an agenda anyway. Nike's owned by they China. They all have an agenda, bro. What happened the fact, when, when this happened? Bro. Not Nike's owned by China. My bad. You already know Nike's owner is from Oregon. Oh. Nike's biggest manufacturers are in China. Like, they were speaking up about China, and LeBron, like, won't say anything about it because Nike... And people yeah, are like really putting him under heat for that. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of heat. He's under mad heat for that. People do anything for money, bro. The money changes everything. It's sad though because I really like LeBron. I think he's a nice, a cool dude. But what was it? Just, uh, damn, bro, you should say something. Like, yo, listen. Like, even if he just came out and was like, listen, I don't support like all that socialism and all that BS that's like happening in China. But you know they are good business partners, and I make a lot of money over there. And I, you know, I, I love and respect China. But you know, there's some bad things that go on there. He won't even say that, yeah. bro. He's taking yeah, how Michael is Jordan it fair? Route, how is it fair too. for all these people, all these you know upper class people, to sit here screaming how you know everything is unfair and this is wrong and that is wrong? But when it comes to making money with China, they completely look past it. As long as it benefits their pockets and their wallets, they'll look past it when it comes to that. Yeah. Like uh, the new the, that new Harry Potter movie that came out. So Dumbledore, right? It yeah. turns out that he's Look gay. KP. Right? Yeah. It turns out he's gay, right? But in China, they cut that part of the movie out where he admits it. Right? Really? But at home, at home, Damn, hold up Disney, a second. We're... Uh... We're glitching a little bit real quick. Hold up. I got to fix it real quick. If it'll let yeah, me. go ahead. We're glitching a little bit. Uh -oh. Let's see if we're good. Nah, I can fix it usually by the time it, uh, it'll uh, it mess up. It'll usually go back to normal by the, when I mess with it. My bad, y'all. I don't know why it's acting all doofy right now. Was it doing that the whole time? Nah, I just, I pay attention to it to make sure. Nah, we're good now. It went back to normal. But yeah, um, what were you saying? You're saying that China, they, uh... Right, so in America, Disney wait. is like, obviously when, wait, first one off, of the first biggest... Off, I have to ask a bunch of questions about that. When did Dumb when did they come out and say, oh, you're saying they confirmed that in the books that Dumbledore is gay? No. Like they have a legit show or movie where they're showing a new that he's movie. Gay? Yeah, a where? new. It's a new. It's a new Harry Potter movie. It's coming it's like out. Like the something of Dumbledore, or oh, I don't know. It's, it's a, like it's how they had one. the Snape ones, right? Right, right. So we already know that Disney is one of the biggest businesses in. Bro, they you own know, ESPN. America. Bro, they own everything. Bro, <laughs> right, exactly. So how is it right for them in America? To sit here and go against like, uh, all right, DeSantis's don't say gay bill, or they're they're back in this whole trans LGBTQ apostrophe X Y Z whatever <laughs> movement, right? Yeah. But in China, they cut the part of the movie out that where he admits that he's gay. You know what I mean? Or he mentions it. Well, yeah. You know, so they, how they is control that? the propaganda every way, shape, and short where every right. shape. Form, but whatever they control. How it. can you not do it? How can you? How can you do it at home? But you're not. You're appeasing to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you're. It's just not right. It shows you that most of these people who are all Black Lives Matter, Trans Lives we Matter, know BLM this, that, ran by a Nazi. It's, it's all fake, bro. Bro, you you know the shit that's going on with Black Lives Matter. Not right the original. Now, the original people who ran Black Lives Matter weren't like on that time they were actually for black lives matter but yeah, they got bought right now out, it's just and then bro that's when they're, the they're, Mari, tamika mari right came in yeah they're under on. investigation bro for oh man oh, yeah, i can't remember what that people they took all the money yes. and went and bought houses yes. and cars and said yes. the people the victims bro. families were like bro we barely got a dime they are bro 
admitted Marxist. Most man, I'm not. I, I, I know I'm it's not. Such a I, crappy subject. I, it, it 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 really is so bro. political, but that they really also, just used our likeness, like all black peoples, all bro, the minorities. They just used the likeness just to get pretty much Biden elected. Pretty much, That's exactly. What it was used for. I was just about to say. That's bro. really I was what just it was about used to say. For. How does how do the two people? Oh wait, hold hold on one second. Let me turn my fish tank off. Fact. Oh, I'm about to go in. Don't 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 get me started with politics, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all had to hear that annoying noise. So check, bro. Right. So how is it that Camilla Harris, who has backed policies that have put more what up, Eddie? Bro, that have put more black people in jail. Oh, right. And then Biden, who first they say Trump is racist, right? Biden called black people literally monkeys before. Bro, in court. and then they're saying they're saying Trump is racist and he's 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 you know complimenting this person, which was debunked. But yet Joe Biden literally went to the funeral of like one of the Grand Wizards of the KKK and was calling him a, a good person and a fine man. Like this is proven. It's not fact. to mention <laughs> his the pedophilia two... that goes on with that whole family. His son's a oh, big yeah, pedophile. He's sniffing hair, he's and, sniffing I mean, hair and like saying, Come I'm going to take bro. her home with me to a little girl. Son. But okay, so what is it? What is it that is making people look pat? What kind of derangement? What kind of... I don't even know, bro. Ignorance that is making people... Just it's, ignore it's these things because there's no way bro. you don't see it. There's no way you don't see it. There's no way you don't see how our country since 2020 has literally just tripped and fell into a gutter yeah, for real. full of soggy leaves and dog shit. <laughs> Pardon my French. But I mean, come on. You know what I mean? You cannot deny it. Oh, the inflation is Putin's fault. Wow. Not because inflation started going up the minute this dude got in office, bro. I'll show you graphs if you need me to. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know, bro. Mm. It's crazy. Like, I used to buy this cat litter at at uh, Walmart. It was four fifty. It's now six like thirty six. Bro, everything, bro. Two dollars. Everything. That's a, that's. That's kind of a lot. If you really everything, put that on bro. a lot of other things, I'm pretty yeah. sure milk's got to be like five dollars a gallon again. Yeah, five twenty-five in some places, bro. Five beans and a quarter. Yes. Hold on. Okay, baby, go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome, Mama. Sorry about that. No, you're good. But um, bro, and that's another thing, bro. Our country is just becoming second, third place. I mean, we've been you know? 50th place in education for like Let's the past hundred years, bro. No, baby, no, watch out. <laughs> oh, it's not letting me mute my mic. <laughs> That's all right. I'm pretty sure people think it's are gonna think it's cute. <laughs> but yeah. But um we're like fiftieth place in education, bro. Like we're bro, try- I mean we're not it, I'm just saying we we are the nation of freedom. We are the nation of expressing yourselves open and freely, individualism. You should be allowed to be who you want to be, and I should be allowed to be who I want to be. Believe in what I want to believe in. Yeah. Raise my family how I want to raise them, and we may disagree, but we could still be neighbors. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. we don't have to hate each other because we shop at the same store. We use the same gas. We eat the same food, so, blah, blah, so on and so forth. Yeah. But they're taking the individuality out of everything. Now it's everything. like everything. You're either this or that, and it's become like a cult following. It's like a like during a cult, bro. Like if you don't believe in this, you're everything under the sun, and you're a horrible person. And and it's like, damn, bro. bro all I said was I just, is that I, I don't like understand pink. how a guy who turns into a girl is allowed to like compete in the UFC. I just don't get oh, it, bro. Don't get me start, bro. Oh my God. Dana bro, White's got... getting under mad heat for saying he'll never let. How many a... sisters do we have? Uh, nine sisters. Well, I mean, yeah, because you have. Like, I have I two. Got uh, no, just three as many. Others. Just as many. You know what I mean? So I'm sorry, yeah. bro, but I could not let that happen. And that's why it happens because the men are not standing up. It ain't the schools. It it's ain't more the, that. It's it just like it with racism. Females. It's like how racism is. People know something's going wrong, 
but they won't say nothing. Right, it's that mob shit. It's because they're afraid to get attacked by that mob, bro. They're afraid they're gonna get doxxed or, or canceled. You know, look at the baby. Right, exactly. Look at every, but look at, they try to these guys are ready, Dave Chappelle. Though. That ain't work out so hot. Facts. <laughs> but these these guys are ready, bro. Yeah. Whenever a uh, um, a predominant political figure comes to speak about free speech or something, these guys show up in droves. And 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 they, you know, they're ready to shut shit down, bro. Yeah. Are like, but the side that's for America, for freedom, and keeping things traditional and the way they are, and they're not. They're, it's like they're just sitting around waiting for everything to go bad before they do something. Nah, that's for real. You know what I mean? Yeah, like the NRA. <laughs> Those are the kind of guys that are just like when you go to a party and you see like them four dudes that are just up against the wall not saying anything and you just don't know what they're thinking or that's the NRA bro you know what I mean they just they're gonna stay out of anything regardless <laughs> yeah. but they got hella blickies and that's exactly why bro so they can protect themselves but what about the majority of the population. Yeah, I mean, they, they, you know, they What's think gonna happen the majority of the population should like, be armed. That, ha like, if if martial law is, you know, set. there'll be a civil war. There will be a civil war before Americans let the government take their guns, bro. As there should be. That is our right exactly. as men. Well, Two seconds. As humans. What's up with y'all though? Y'all should comment. Like and share, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, another thing, bro. We used to have the top military in the world. Yeah, I know. And now, well, I mean, today, today, Russia... Um, what, they have more men? No, not even that. They, uh, they launched a missile, right? Mm -hmm. And Putin said that it is so advanced that it could beat any anti, um, <clears throat> any oh, anti-missile defense in the world, yeah. bro. Like it, it replaced the SS-18, the SS-19, and those were, you know, like so they're pretty uh, much saying they have some a of the missile that can go un undetected, with, pretty much, up until it hits, or it, they it'll test be detected, them but it today. can't be stopped. They What's test it? launched them today, bro. It reached up to like three thousand seven hundred miles. That's scary. And what is America in, doing? We and America is at home trying to implement policies about trans and gay people in the military more than the defense I mean, of our country, I mean, that shouldn't matter anyway. Bro. A gay person should be able to fight for the country. I don't see why Facts. Not. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah, that's no, I know, I know right. that's not what oh, you're yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. But they're over yeah. here debating that when someone they're over there making a weapon that could possibly kill mad innocent people for no reason bro. just as an act of war. Putin test launched it today as a statement. He said, like, mm. this is for anyone who thinks about threatening our country. Jeez. Yeah, what, Specifically still, the United States. Are they still States. in there beating the crap out of Ukraine? I mean, bro, the fact that Ukraine has stood its ground and nah, defended Ukraine's itself. Ukraine's mad underrated. They're like, yes. uh, what's his name in, uh, for the Hornets? They're like Yo. Terry Rozier. <laughs> you know Terry Yo. Rozier? Scary Terry? <laughs> yes. That's who they're like. They're like Scary Terry. They're going to drop 30 on you, and you're going to be like, Yo, this short ass, what? Gary Terry's like our height, bro. Yeah, shit on him, bro. That okay, has, hold on a Lakers second. Daddy duty. That's what I want. <laughs> Scary Terry. I'm going to uh, cover the draft, y'all, just so you know. I forget the day of the draft. I think it's the 28th or the 30th. But I'm going to cover the draft, like the first round. And then I think I'm going to do like... Oh, damn, I, need some I think I'm going to... Um, did you clean up? Did you close Do like a, a recap of it too, you know? Everybody loves the draft. No. Well, and they like sports. But Where yeah. I can get my cup too. Apologies, Daddy Duty calls. Oh, wait, what's up? Why shouldn't they be entitled though, regardless of what sex they decide to be just asking? I That's think, not what I'm saying. What up, Phil? That's not what we're saying. Yeah, we're That's not, not what we're saying at all. They, they. Sh bro, I don't care if you're an attack let, helicopter, right, how about a dolphin, let's or a, let a girl, shark with laser beams attached to their freaking well, let's heads. Let's let a girl who turned into a guy fight guys. 
we'll see how far that'll go. Talking about. We'll see how far that'll go. Because it's not going to okay. go anywhere. She's going to get laid out. I'm sorry. Bro, it's happened already. What do you mean? Oh, it's already happened. It. Yeah. I'm going to have to I'm, I'm going to send you I'm going to send you highlights of a fight where a, a transgender woman Oh, Try yeah, you can just No. A, like as in it was a man who woman. transitioned into a woman. Oh, yeah, she's and, not gonna, um, I'm not saying that. Not I'm saying not chicks out. I'm saying let a woman who's recently turned into a guy fight a man. Then I, I want to see that because that's not what it's all about. It's all about a man who wanted to become a girl and then he becomes a swimmer or he was already a swimmer, but then he now he competes with the girls. You get what I'm saying? Right. Let he was trash as a man turned into and now a he's guy. winning. Yeah, now exactly. he feels accomplished. Exactly, but I'm saying, let he was a woman. A that's the point. Is let a woman. How's that fair? You know what? How about this? I'm How not about saying this? that. Ready? But you, but do you get what I'm saying? What if it was your daughter? Oh yeah, I wouldn't want her fighting. No, whoever asked that question, who's talking no. about? Oh, what does it matter? What sex or what this? Wait till it's your daughter, and your daughter's a championship track runner, and she works as hard as she can from the time she's in first grade to the time she's ready to graduate high school and she's in all state everything and then some chick walks onto the court who still has um you know an extra set of something in her drawers and just burns her how is that fair it's not. biology says it's not but, oh isn't that what we believed in with covid but i'm saying oh, remember if COVID? we're gonna do that yeah. how are we not gonna let the the girl who turned into a boy fight uh men how come I haven't seen them? How come? Because they know better. Because they know better. That's all I'm saying. How is it only one way and nobody's at talking about the other side? Right, cause, c right bro, but, but because they know better. Because if a girl transitions into a man, biology still says I'm actually still only I'm as physically as that. strong as a woman Ronda and Rousey ain't going to be able to knock asses, this dude out. She will. Uh, but, she, but isn't that what the thing was with COVID? Because when I used to post things about COVID, everybody and their mother was up here like, oh, it's the science. Follow the science. Bro, the science Even though they were just copying and pasting COVID, things. You don't need to get the shot. Right. But what I'm saying is they all scream, follow the science. Okay. Did you take biology class? Biology says that I mean, men are stronger than women. Biology says that you can't create a cure in six months. Science says you can't. That's that's it's physically impossible to create something when you really don't even have enough science on it. But that's not the point of what we're talking about, though. Thank you. But I mean, no. Regardless no. of the fact, I mean, I it's Listen, not that I have anything against transgenders. You know what I mean? Not at all. Nothing not, against. Bro, them. two of my best friends growing up were gay. Bro, my boy D was like, I don't want to disrespect anybody, but he was like super gay. <laughs> He was like flamboyant, you know yeah. what I mean? And I didn't care about walking around with him, bro. I would slap somebody who ever made fun of him. Facts. Do you know what I mean? Like, Facts. That we're was definitely my, not no that was my dude. No which way, shape, or form, or anything. It's just no. I. There's a line that need that can't be crossed in humanity. It just can't be, bro. Exactly. And, and this exactly. is like there's the signs of hell, right. bro. This is literally I, the signs of hell coming. Like exactly. the yeah, Bible is yeah. is real. So. The Quran is real, like to an extent. They might be yeah. stories, but they came from something real. There's a reason why the same thing is written down in five different freaking cultures <laughs> that didn't even know each other <laughs> yeah. at a time. So there's Big a reason facts. why, bro. But Big people facts. don't want to. People want to ignore that. You know what I mean? People don't want to. People want to act like God isn't real. But everyone's like, "Oh, the devil, the devil, the devil." But God's not real. Yeah. Nah. Like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's just a, that's just some spiritual BS, but regardless. Nah, God is real, bro. You gotta be. The chances of us being here are one in one billion. It's one little... It's like... Daddy used to explain to me. It's like one piece of sand on a big beach, like, in Miami. It's like one... The chances of us being here are like one piece of sand in, on Miami Beach. So it's like a one in billionth Google freaking chance of, of the Big Bang happening and us coming. You know what I mean? I don't know. Thanks, Maybe we chase some people away. <laughs> people might have been like, I hear enough of this. Yeah, people don't. 
people don't they don't they don't like it, bro. Yeah, people like being they sheep don't. and being and like being told what to do. And I don't I yeah. I will tell you no just because you told me to do something. I'm not yeah. saying it's I right. I told you, bro. I'm not saying like, it's right. I, but you're supposed to question everything. That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to just listen to people. Oh, let's go walk off this bridge and we're gonna be yeah, we're gonna go into the water. Nice. Like, bro, wh- what? And weren't you taught your whole life to have your own thought process? A lot exactly. of people don't, bro. Every, a lot of people are just sheep and just do what they're told. Yeah. People are followers, bro. I'm not Too saying many people are followers. That some people weren't forced to do things because I know a lot of people got the shot because they told them, "Oh, you can't work or you can't do this or you can't." Uh, and I feel bad for those people because they did it because they had to, and they felt like there was no other way around it. Exactly. I just read a comment from um, Catherine. She's exactly right, bro. What? She says, someone born as a male has the natural strength <clears throat> of a... Wait, hold on. Yeah, someone born as a male has the natural strength of a male that will never go away whether they change to whom they feel inside or not. It's not fair that a trans male bad, will, win every, right, will win every time. No training. A woman can take whatever will match that strength. Maybe a typo or something. It's not about transgenders not deserving the equality of any other person. It's the natural testosterone a male is born with. Yeah. And the estrogen a woman is born with. Biology. Exactly, right. Phil. Like, if a guy turns I mean, into bro, a girl, this is like sixth grade science, but, bro. Yeah, but think about it, Phil. Right? If a girl turns into a guy, how come they're not showing any of those fights? Because when bro, a girl because, turns into a guy and gets in the ring, they're better. getting fucking mo- Ooh, my bad f word. They're getting molly wop, bro. It's not right, a fight. That, that's what, but this is what I'm saying. Unless it's some soft because ass the women, from the Y. <laughs> because some old because, dude with his hairy balls hanging out in the in the in the. Uh, <laughs> In, in the, in the locker, room. locker room, bro. That's the only nigga that she's beating up. Like Ronda Rousey what? will take probably me and B to get. I don't know. I mean, oh, we might give oh her a run for a month. <laughs> we might we might hit her a few times. We might hold her legs. Nah, but I don't know. Ronda Rousey's a beast. But facts. I'm but, saying. But look, this is what I'm saying. A trained the women... fighter versus another trained fighter. No matter what, the man's gonna win nine out of ten times. It's just fact, bro. It. it I'm sorry. If they're the same weight class, same everything, bro. Like, people would say Ronda Rousey could beat Floyd Mayweather. What? Bro, do you not know that Floyd Mayweather will knock her out in, like, three minutes? Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. She could shoot on him and take him down. But Ronda was never, uh, she was never a wrestler. Everyone knows that. Ronda was never. What up, Cat? But Ronda was never a wrestler. That's why she got her ass kicked later in her career and that's why she's a wwe wrestler now because she could (laughs) never get to the ground like that brock lesnar was so successful because he's huge and he is an all-state wrestler that's why he was so good but people don't put that like bro imagine a guy wrestling a girl just think of that He's going to freaking manhandle her, bro. 150 versus 150? That's like George... Put George St. Pierre... I think George St. Pierre was 145 or 150. And put him right. against Ronda Rousey, bro. I think they're around the same weight-ish. Or she might be like... Nah, she got to be like 130, 150. She got to be. My bad. Daddy duty, daddy duty, daddy duty, yeah, daddy duty. I just that makes no sense to me, bro. But it, forget that stuff, man. I, let's not talk about that because that's that's too controversial, and people are gonna get butt hurt either way, no matter what. I'm over that. You know what I mean? Even if you that's, say it that's the right the, way, people are still gonna be like, right, what? right. That's the thing. That's the thing. It is that's what it, it all comes back to, though. What I was saying. This is America, bro, where people are supposed to be able to agree to disagree. Yeah. And still be cool. Exactly. Like, yo, just, oh, because, just because we believe something different doesn't mean, like... We're enemies, and I you know hate I mean? you. But that's how they're yeah. taught now. That's, like, the new thing, bro. I have to hate you if if I don't agree with you. Oh, my God, you voted for Donald Trump? Oh, I can't be your friend no Fact. more, bro. Like, you like bro, Trump, you, man? Oh, man. Like, oh, you know bro, how many friends? I got money, so if I vote for friends him, I lost. I'm going to... I'm going to um make more money. If I have money and I vote for Trump and he's a Republican, there's that means that uh he's going to tax me less. 
I mean, look at Andre 3000. He publicly voted for George Bush. Publicly. And people are, like, trying to press him on it. Like, he's like, I don't see how that ma- how do that goes with my music. Like, what does that have to do with that? I'm rich. I make money. I voted for George Bush. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah. The point is, is that the left feeds off of people's ignorance. And they know that. And this is the crazy part about it all is that in 2022, we are the most like technologically advanced generation and have information literally in the palm of our hands, but nobody does their own research. They just listen to whatever they're told. They would rather copy and paste the article. Bro, I've literally watched people post articles Fake article, where right? the article the article itself actually contradicts what the headline says cuz the headline was meant to be sarcastic yeah but because they don't read the article they posted it well you got to remember we're in the generation of when it's not about the news being a fact it's about the new just being first they'll put out yeah. fake information it's about what's more entertaining just as long, no as long as it gets to the people what? and it's a it's a what's it yeah. called clickbait it's going to get posted yeah. no matter what. And feelings. Everything is about feelings. I'm not supposed to tell you the truth because it might hurt your feelings. Bro. Go sit I'd your ass you down with truth, your 13th hurts my place ribbon. <laughs> For real. But yeah, man. Mm-hmm. The Lakers were trash, bro. I don't even know. They're talking about trading trash. Russell Westbrook to the Pacers for uh, who they say? For... Malcolm Brogdon and who else? I forget. But all they're just trying to they're talking about getting Russell getting uh trading Russ. But I hope that the Cavaliers I thought um Kevin Love was under was uh, a free agent this year. He's not. He still has a twenty four million dollar contract next year. They just need to buy him out already, bro. Be like, all right, we're gonna buy Huh? No, I'm agreeing with you. I said, yeah. Like, I have no idea. Like, yo, Kevin Love, fin- well, that's because Bron was there when he signed that deal. But he finessed the mother out of the Cavs, bro. So did Tristan Thompson. Like, the only people that really deserve to get super paid on that team are LeBron and Kyrie. That's it. Everyone else, sh- like, Tristan Thompson did not know. He shouldn't have been, got a max contract. No way in shape and form, bro. He's never even averaged over 14 points a game. Never. Never. Like, how? How? And then Kevin Love, he should have got... It's hard to say because Kevin Love, when he remember when he was a Timberwolf, he was putting up like 25 and 18 a night. I just, um... Yo, yeah, Kevin Love is a beast, bro. Did you know that he, I showed you that he just scored? He scored thirty three points and had ten rebounds in 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 fifteen minutes. Yeah. I was just watch or uh, reading this article about the time Michael Jordan played point guard for like eleven games or something. What, ooh, was Ron Harper injured or something? I can't remember. What was it? He put he played point guard for like eleven or twelve I mean, games and averaged he averaged a double double. I mean, time. but think about it. He pretty much was the point guard. Oh, and 10 rebounds. No, actually, I'm bugging. <laughs> he had 10 rebounds as the point guard. Dennis Rodman was pretty much the point guard. of the, Not Dennis Rodman. Scotty Pippen was pretty much the point guard of the Bulls teams. Think about it. He came up with the ball in his hand all the time. I just don't understand how people think that LeBron is the goat over MJ, bro. Like, I hate getting I in that debate. I don't even know how debate. LeBron's even put over Kobe, bro. I don't. I, yo, it blows don't. my mind I think every he's there time with I him. see these debates, clo- bro. Him and Kobe are closer than him and him and Jordan. You know what I'm saying? Kobe's closer to Jordan. He's literally the carbon copy of Jordan with one less Facts. Round. And I, that's what I'm saying. But Kobe was screwed out a lot of MP- MVPs. People forget that. Kobe Facts. only has one MVP. Yeah. How? He led the league in scoring uh, yeah, for I, how much time? How much times? Don't the most valuable player mean you're the best player in the league? Yeah. Don't facts. that mean that you're the most valuable player to your team? Not your team did really well and you were the best player on it. No. Like, that's so stupid, bro. It makes no sense. That means if you take you off that team, that team now sucks. 
or they're barely making it in the, the... Like, I thought Russell Westbrook was definitely the MVP when he won it. He took the KD-less OKC Thunder Facts. to the playoffs and averaged a triple-double while A triple-double. Yeah, he's A triple-double. But, bro, what does that matter? He was the most valuable player on the court almost every game. But, I mean, that's... What are you doing, baby? Yeah, What's that's up? sports now, man. Penny, daddy's, um, daddy's doing something, baby. You got to go, okay? You can't... No, no, mamas. I'm doing something. Oh, yeah, two out, seconds. Uh, Millie. Millie's going to be on... Um. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hi. You see Hush. me? Can you see me? <laughs> okay, you said hi, okay? Now go over sissy. <laughs> Okay. I couldn't let my kids do that, bro. They would be over here messing with the mic, messing with the camera. They'd be like, I'm uh, touch the keyboard. She's, uh, I, I've been gone. What are we going on? An hour almost? 45 so she's minutes, going to yeah. daddy withdrawal. <laughs> she's the, ba the baby of the family. So yeah. she's, she's going through uh, daddy withdrawal. Yeah, man. I'm That's covering, did I tell you I'm covering the draft? Yeah. Yeah, I'm covering oh, the draft. Oh, that's going to be so official, bro. That's going to be so official. That's something I actually I hope, can't bro, wait to watch. I want, I'd rather what, watch that draft than the real draft. Bro, this is what I want to do. This is what I want uh, the Steelers to do for the draft. I want them to trade back, right, in the first and go, like, back, like, I don't know. As long as they can still land the guy who I want them to land. Damn, that, that car was loud. Let me close that. Um, I want them to <laughs> trade back, like, I don't know, we're 20th. So there's, what, 30, 30 picks. So trade yeah. back to like 25, 24, whatever, and get – because usually if a team wants to trade up right there, they're going to try to give like – there's going to be like a battle because a lot of teams are going to be trying to get wide receivers because there's a, this yeah. wide receiver class is the fastest ever. If they're saying yeah. it's going to be the best ever wide receiver class ever. Plus these guys are coming out and being immediate stars. It's not like when Palazzo Burris came out. It's not like when uh, Heinz Ward came out. Like when all the, those guys came out, bro – the league was different. Like, you had to play special teams. Like, you had to earn your spot, even if you were a first-round pick. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. now these guys are coming in and being an immediate impacts and, and putting up 1,000 yards their first year. You know what I mean? So, I want the Steelers to Don't trade back and uh, draft Desmond Ritter for Cincinnati. Thank you. Sorry, Penny. You're all right. Okay, Mama, you got to go out. Close my door, okay? I'm really going to be out for like 10 more minutes, but yeah. I know. I'm I so want. sorry. I'm You're so good. sorry, everyone. I want them to trade back. Goddamn. Get Desmond Ritter from Cincinnati. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, he's the fastest player in the draft out of quarterbacks. And he's got a cannon. And he's ran a similar system to what the Steelers want to run now. So and he can learn and he has a and he can learn behind Mitch Trubisky for two years. Yeah, if he needs to. You know what I'm saying? So that's the big question, though. You think Trubisky's gonna do what he's supposed I think he's to gonna do? Be decent. I think he's gonna come yeah. in and probably throw like 27 touchdowns with like 12 interceptions and run for like four or five. Yeah, I think he's gonna come in and we're gonna yeah. win 10 games. Right out, I bro. Think if that, Mason um, Rudolph was our quarterback, we're still gonna win nine games, bro. You think so? You think he was that good? Mason? I thought he, I, I think Mason's not he's not that bad. And he learned a lot. I mean he's been sitting on, behind Ben true. for a long time. Plus the that Steelers hung a first round grade on him. Like they they said this guy's not gonna be a first round pick, but we think his talent was good enough to be a first round pick. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So and that's by one of the best GMs who's retiring this year in Kevin Colbert. Kevin Colbert drafted Troy Palomalu, Ben Roethlisberger, Casey Hampton, Joey Porter, Lamar Woodley, Heinz Ward, Platsko Burris, Antonio Holmes. Yeah. Uh, he can keep going, bro. He's he's drafted Alan Fanica. He's drafted a lot of Hall of Famers. He's going to go down as a Hall of Famer, as a GM. You know what I'm saying? That's Definitely. how important he is. Yeah. He's been on, on the Steelers team ever since 2000. Like, the early 2000, no, since 2000. He was already a part of the team, but he officially became the GM in like 2000. Yeah. So he's the reason why we traded for Jerome, no, Jerome.
was actually there earlier. But he drafted Rashard Mendenhall. He found Willie Parker, who was an unsigned free agent, and signed him. Um, He found James Harrison, who was an unsigned free agent. Like, bro, he's got an eye for talent. You know what I mean? So if he gave Mason Rudolph a first-round grade, I'm going to... I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, you know, true. I mean, I'm not saying you don't miss... We did dra- try to draft Lyman Swede out of te- uh where did he go? I think he went to Texas. He was six four and played wide receiver. Bro, I think he played like two games. We drafted him in the second round. He played like three games in his whole career for the Steelers. And he was a second round pick. I think Heinz Ward was a fourth round pick, if I'm not mistaken. And look who he is. A B was a fourth round pick, bro. That's crazy when you think about Bro, it. Bro, if AB never left the Steelers, he'd be oh my in, God. he'd probably be the best wide receiver almost of all time right now. Like he he'd be right there with, was with Jerry Rice, bro. He was that good. He's still yes, that good. Definitely. But who was it? Him and him and uh Floyd Mayweather just offered somebody like a bunch of money to let him sign. They turned him down though. What do you mean to let him sign? Him and AB and AB and Money Mayweather have been like chilling together. Yeah, but what is he signed to? What? I to a team in the NFL. They like offered the team money, like millions like, of dollars. Oh, let AB come and play. Yeah, but now he yeah. did that to the Buccaneers. Even though you can't blame him for doing that to the Buccaneers, when Bruce Arians told him like, "Go f yourself, you're out of here." Like you're gonna let a man just be like he could have handled it better. Yeah. Yeah, and, you gotta. Yeah, yeah, he could have handled it better as a professional. Get it out the way, though. AB is like a super case head. Like, I'm not saying he's crazy. I'm saying he's just super egotistical. But in order to be a wide receiver, you sort of got to be that way. You're lining up to get hit almost every play. And remember those hits he took back in the day? A lot of people think he got CTE. Already? If if he's showing signs of that already? Yeah, he definitely does. I feel bad for him, bro, because by the time he's in his mid-40s, he's going to be gone. Well, either way, that guy was – if him and Ben stayed together, oh, my God. Facts. And Le'Veon Bell, bro. Bro, We would have got a chip. This is what I don't understand. We would have got a chip because Le'Veon Bell's agent told him not to play and to go get the bag with the Jets, and look how that worked out. He's not even in the league no more. He's like, oh, I could still play. I seriously doubt that a team's going to really. He played for the Ravens last year and never really. He got like five carries the whole year. He was on their practice squad mostly. Or he was like in. He was on the sidelines with a helmet, but they like gave him the ball once like every three games. Like, bro, all that. When you could have retired a Steeler and been the. Bro, you could have went down as one of the best Steelers to ever play. Ever. Now you only played five years with us. Went to the Jets, sucked so bad you averaged like three yards a freaking carry. Like that's bro. these youngins, bro. That's how they are. That's just how now, these. Now don't younger get me wrong. Teams with everything. Are, nine out of ten teams are mad disloyal, bro. Mad disloyal, and they're gonna trade you True. like the NBA. Like that's why I do agree. Get that bag. But now you got players like I love Deontay Johnson. I've watched him grow since he can't. We drafted him out of Toledo. I yeah. heard now he wants a new contract. Because his contract's yeah. up next year. Like, he's not showing up to practice. Well, he's practice hasn't exactly happened yet, so they can't say that. It's going to be back at uh, the college now. They're going to be doing it back at St. Vincent's. But regardless. Nah, bro, I swear to God, I was just reading the article that he wasn't showing up to nah, something. Nah, it's not even happening yet. Like, I mini camp, bro, it's not going to happen until the draft. And then it's yeah. going to happen. But yeah, like, he's saying, they're saying that he's planning on um, holding out. Like, bro, do you, what? Nick, you only had one 1,000-yard season, bro. Yeah. And you, the year before that, you had you led the league in drops. And I hate, yeah, I was about to say, bro. I hate to say it, but uh, that's Butterfingers, bro. Bro, nah, he's good. Now, yeah, do I think good, he's ever going to be a in, surefire one? I don't know yet. And Against I, the Chiefs, he was dropping some yeah. questionable passes that he should have caught, bro, bro. That's why the Steelers are going to get tight. another wide receiver. That's why I want that kid from yeah. Cincinnati. That's why I want Desmond Ritter, and then when you trade back, you get him, and you get an extra pick. Now you can go in the second round, get that dude from, um, I think he plays for UConn. He, um, he's a defensive tackle. He's like 6'4", 6'5". He's a big dude, beast. It's not Eskridge. Yeah. I can't think of his name, but I want a defensive tackle, a real true nose guard, and or nose tackle, and then I want them to pick that guy, His what Desmond Ritter's number one uh, option in college, which was this big white dude named Alec Pierce. 
He's a beast, bro. He's like 6'4", 6'3", and he's fast. Like, we need us one of those. He looks like the guy from um the Rams. The tall white dude. What's his name? Uh, the best wide receiver in the league, bro. He had 2,000 yards this year. You know that? Cooper Cup. Who was it? Uh, Cooper Cup. Yeah, Cooper Cup. Yeah, white boy. Bro, he broke all stereotypes that white people couldn't play wide receiver. Remember mm, back bro, in the day? Game. Well, Wes Welker was real. Oh, he's nice. He's, he's nice, bro. bro. He just had he's a legendary. Nice. Not, he might have had the best receiver him. season. And he won the Super Bowl. And he won the Super Bowl. Yeah. That I feel like that Super Bowl was so, like, it was like watching a, it was like watching a sitcom, bro. Yeah, it was you crazy. Know what I mean? That's just how I felt, bro. Like, I know you're going to tell mean. me That's there's no flags like all game. Real. They're not calling flags on face masks. And then all of a sudden, these guys are in the red zone. And, like, it's like, yo, we're just giving them chance after chance after chance after chance. Like, it was just blatant. Yeah. It was blatant. Do you know what I mean? It was like just you're insulting people. Yeah, that's how I felt, bro. I, I mean, I, I don't know. you already know that the refs are going to somewhat control the outcome of the game because of Vegas, no matter what. That Even crazy, if bro. they let the best crazy. team win, they're still going to control the game because one stuff that makes that much money is always going to be manipulated. Always boxing, basketball, UFC, football. Soccer, baseball. I don't know if I said baseball already. But all that stuff is subjected <laughs> to manipulation because there's so I'm much sorry. money being made. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. No baseball what. players, man. Oh, my God, bro. The money that they make, bro. Bro, NFL players oh, I'd be rich. are making less money than NBA players. Bro, the bench that's players like, in they're the like NBA treated the most unfair. Right the NFL players are treated the most unfair. Football players, definitely, because they put their body... Through the most, they train harder, they work harder, and they sometimes barely get anything. And they oh, can get cut out of their contracts. They're trying, like, they're trying so like, hard to keep adding games to the league you, or to the you can schedule. Get, they want it to be more yeah, than 17 you, games. They just made it you can get You can get dropped two days before you get paid, and you're not getting paid. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, Well, no, 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 no. That's why the guarantee contracts are getting more. Like, no right, matter but how what, many players get those? How many only, players only, actually only get real those? stars do? Exactly. But they're getting huge contracts now. Look at um Devontae Adams from the Packers. He just got traded to the right. Raiders and he got the huge bag, bro. Then Tyreek Evans got traded to the Dolphins. Right, but these and got are even all bigger bag. Good players, though. These are all good players. I'm talking about yeah. the guy that's nice, but hasn't been able to prove that he's nice yeah. yet. You know what Look I mean? At Patrick Mahomes. I think he got a hundred million <laughs> guaranteed, bro. Hundred million That's guaranteed. Crazy. That's crazy. We're not talking about endorsements or nothing like that's why. It's like a ten year deal, but who cares? It's a hundred million <laughs> guaranteed. That means that he got like a forty million signing bonus off rip. Bro. A hundred million. Ten years. Bro. Imagine oh my if you just god. Put that that's in how, the bank. What if he just like that's lives how off many his million every year? But think about it. What if How he lifts off just his endorsements and puts that money in the bank and just lets it grow interest? Yeah, Inflation, that's what what's his name that, did. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. We're gonna protect talk real chicken. word, Marshawn Lynch. He said, "Protect biscuits y'all, chicken, gravy. y'all." I'm just here so he I don't said, get fined. Right, <laughs> biscuits and gravy. <laughs> I love Marshawn Lynch. But yeah, we get ready to. Yo, wrap facts, up, bro. power pellets, bro. Bro, yeah. Marshawn Lynch actually used to inspire me. He still does. Like I he used still to, does a lot. I of used things. to wake up. Facts. I used to wake up and watch Marshawn Lynch to tackle my day. You know Najee Harris is uh, training with him, right? Yeah. Good. And they just did something together. Man, he just came good. out with his new um uh, so clothing a line. Beast. Yo, he was he, a Najee beast. Harris might be the best running back in the league by the end of this year. That's bro, how good he I, is. I, I, that's I, how I, much bro. faith I have in him. I wa- I can't wait to watch him play, bro. This With a season, real offensive I can't. Line and not guys who are just. I can't there. wait to watch him play this season, bro. Like I'm, I'm so hyped to watch him play this season. I know because we just picked up uh, offensive line. Actually, now we actually have got two. We just James Daniels alone. If we had him last year, oh my god, bro, <sighs> bro, he would have had like fifty. I know yards. Ben's last year, bro. I know it sucks to watch him go out like that. I just hope. I just hope that people don't. Hey. He still went pretty far for an old dude. Exactly, with, bro. You know, like, people got to show him the love. The he, like he got two second. chips out his career, bro. Made it to the playoffs in the every Tom year. Brady era. Got 
got two chips. You know what I mean? Uh, and the, and the like, dominant Belichick, Patriots, Tom Brady era. Facts. He got two chips. Like, facts, he got, bro. That's, he, he's got as much chips as as uh, Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers put together. So does Eli, though. Got to give it to Eli. Bro, Eli was his team. I don't care, bro. Like, But anyway, still, you still got to give him his, his daps. But Eli's team... Made him look good, bro. Because I mean, he, he did, he, but you got to remember he had an ill receiving core. You can't say that tumor. though, because he did like, have to throw the ball for them to catch it. He had to put it right, in the right place. But they, those those receivers were good. So they were good enough that year where you could throw it in the air and they were gonna catch it. Yeah, he had Victor Cruz, uh, Platts, Imani Tumor, Imani Tumor. Yeah, like he had a what bro. Up, they're they're running backs. Uh, who am I, Bradshaw, uh, Brandon Jacobs, bro, and then their defense. Like, bro, the Giants had a B squad. Michael then, Strahan, bro. then they had uh, Jason Pierre Justin Pial. Tuck. Yeah, Justin Tucker. Justin Tuck, yeah. monster, bro. Yeah. Like, they had a B squad. That one guy bro. with the crazy name, it was like on or whatever. Oh, he was yeah, a monster, yeah. too. Oh, there was another one, too. Uh, one of the other linebackers. What was his name? Uh, it's gonna kill me, bro, because I I loved watching him. Play, and don't bro. forget like they the had Giants. Brandon Jacobs. That's why I said I said Brandon oh, Jacobs to running through everybody, running biggest shit, just bro. running through mother effers like Son. nothing, like a knife you know, through butter, yeah. like a hot yeah, knife was, through butter. Yeah, running through people. that was crazy, bro. You know who I'm tight, bro? Who never made it to the NFL, or I think he did, but then like he got injured and he was never able to play again. Ooh. Do you remember Beanie Wells? For yeah, Ohio yeah, yeah. State. Ohio State, yeah. Son, I'd be watching, I'd still be watching some of his highlights from college, Isn't that bro. crazy sometimes. that some players don't take the curve like that? Like, bro, he would have been Brandon Jacobs on steroids. Like, he, but where'd he get drafted? Oh my God. I can't, I can't remember. That, that's, that's a how, big, that's a big thing, too. Like, if, think of this, right? Was so, his career was so minuscule think of just after Ben's, college. Ben's draft class with Eli, it was. The first quarterback taken was Phillip Rivers. Then it was Eli Manning. Then it was Ben Roethlisberger. So, yeah. if any of those... Think of it. Phillip Rivers went first. He has zero Super Bowls. Eli went to the Giants. He has two. Ben went to the Steelers. He has two. If you put Phillip Rivers on the Steelers, does he still win two Super Bowls? Yeah. Because it's I the think culture. he would have won at least one. Nah. He might have won three. Maybe Phillip Rivers two. was the yeah, most maybe. talented out of all of them. But because he True. went to San Diego and yeah. had to get through, well, no, I mean, everyone had to get through uh, the Patriots, but he always lost to the Patriots in no, the, the AFC chip. He had an oh, LT, she's not too. Giving up. Nah, we're getting ready to, to close to, uh, yeah. <laughs> peace out yeah. anyway. It's about an hour. I, I hear the music going on. Close my the kids door on your way out. Go. Don't slam it. Uh, yeah, yeah we're gonna good have, sports talk. I'm gonna have a little um, bit of a controversy today, but still. Yeah. I'm have, you ain't gonna um, get that with anything. I'm gonna have Millie on next, so. Facts. I can't wait to see that one. Yeah. yeah. Millie, when you watch this, you better add me, boy. <laughs> you better add me. I'm kind of tight. You, 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 I one of my Sean days one, day. bro. How don't I got you? you I just see Sean, his little brother, Sean. Oh, facts. I That's my little young right there. Yeah. Yeah, I be seeing him all the time. I don't know if he lives in Westside, but I be seeing him at a uh, Family Dollar. I swear to God, like might, I think at least once a me. week. Oh, Vic, I just seen B. Maybe I think maybe. Yeah, I see him all the time. We yeah, see each other like all the time. Good. Yeah, yeah, facts. But yeah, um, this is suck. Like and share this, guys. No matter what time you watch it, you can watch it later. Still share it, bro. You know what I mean? And even if you don't like what I said, we're still, we're still in the, <laughs> or I'm still in the. The early processes. It's only episode eight, so imagine when we're at twenty-four. Hey, twenty-four. Where the, uh, no wrong arm. There it is. Oh, uh, twenty-four. <laughs> Thirteen. But yeah, imagine when we're over yeah. there or up there. It's gonna be so much better, bro. I'm gonna have things broken down into segments. I'm gonna have a lot of different things. We'll see. Yeah, sure. It's gonna grow. But yeah, bro. I appreciate. Of course it is. I appreciate you coming on, cause you know. Uh, Always. My guy uh, had some problems that was supposed to come on, but. I'm sure I'll get him sometime later, but I'm yes, always sir. here for the filling, bro. Always, yeah, you know that. You already know. Soon we're gonna have our po podcast up. Definitely. I don't know if it's gonna be the Amazing Mom Brothers, but we'll see when it comes. When the time comes. Yeah, definitely. But uh, 
yeah, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, this is five seven zero live episode eight. Uh, yeah, see you guys on Friday. Peace out, y'all. Here. Hey.